So uh, Rachel Grinham, was that part of the plan to have a five set workout first match? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, right down to the wire. Um, no, I mean, it was it was a really good match. I knew it was going to be a tough match. Like, Seattle is quite an informed player at the moment. Um, so, yeah, it was a tough match for me to have, especially as my first match, because I had a bye yesterday. So, um, but no, I mean, I've, I've been looking forward to it. Um, you know, I've been hanging around for a week, waiting to play. So, um, you know, it was it was a really good match. And, um, you know, win or, win or lose, I would have enjoyed it. But, um, you know, obviously I'm happy I took one and, and you know, playing again tomorrow. There's a theory that sitting around on a rest day, you can get be fresh when you come in. But I suppose the other players had a day of playing and got the, the, the run in the legs and all that sort of stuff. So what do you prefer? Um, I think ideally you want to have a match, but not yeah, not not a hard one too much. So um, yeah, you know it's hard when you've got a rest day, and especially when the, there's not many courts uh, to practice on because everybody's playing matches on all the courts, and then, and you you know maybe don't have a practice partner as well to hit with. So so it's good. Yeah, usually it's good to just have to have a match and get into it, especially when you're coming up against somebody else who has has been playing. Rachel, what does this event mean for you, the Australian Open? I mean, let's. It's not beat around the bush here. Your, your chances of winning the Australian Open, you're probably, you know, the next couple of years will, will be your last chances. Yeah. Cheers, Ross. Thanks. <laughs> um, well, I don't know yeah. whether too many 40-year-olds have ever won an uh, Australian Open. I know you're a few years off that yet, but um, yeah. what do you reckon? What are your chances of, of winning the next few years? Probably depends on how big the tournament is each year, you know. Obviously, this year it's a, it's a, it's a bit harder with, um, you know, the likes of Joel and, and Annie here. So... Um, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's, it is a big title to, to me as a national title, you know, I, go, I, go, I play a lot of big events these days and I'm, I'm happy just to be there playing squash, but, um, you know, obviously with having a national title at stake, you do get a little bit, you know, feel a bit more nervous and you kind of feel like everyone's come to watch you and, and it's not really pressure that I'm, I'm, I'm used to having, especially these days when I go to tournaments, so, um, I don't know, yeah, I mean, maybe it's good for me, I, I don't know, but, um, yeah, it's obviously a, a very different environment. And there is a bit of pressure on you, isn't there? Because everyone's desperate to see an Australian do well, uh, men and the women's, and, and you know, you're our top-seeded woman at the moment, so everyone expects you to go out and carry the can for Australia. I know, I feel, I feel like I let everyone down last week for a start. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, you know, we've got a lot of good players playing at the moment. I mean, Chris is, is in good form. Unfortunately, she came up against Joelle tonight, but, um, and you know, Donna's playing well, so I'm not, I'm not sure who Donna's, oh no, I think Donna has Joelle tomorrow now as well, so that's, yeah, that's a toughie. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, here representing Australia, I guess, this week for everyone, so it's, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, give 150% and hopefully I can do well. I know you told me in an earlier interview we did, uh, might have been a year or so ago, that you're playing a lot more clever squash now rather than the, the, the brutal strength that maybe you've used before. Is that still the, the tactic? Uh, it's, it's, I, that's a tactic, whether I actually am clever on the day or not. I think I still can be very stupid on the court. But yeah, I certainly lean towards uh, trying to, you know, when I, when I have my opportunities to finish a rally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it these days. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to stay on the court for 90 minutes with these 20 year olds because, you know, my, my odds are they're going to beat me on that. So, um, yeah, that, that's, you know, I just play, I think playing the game, yeah, trying to play it a bit more tactically is, is finding it more enjoyable as well. So. Well, you're through to the quarterfinals, so congratulations for that and good luck for the rest of the week. Thanks, Ross. Thank you.